Green Beyond the New Year, we're here with Overlord episode, I think that's four. No, it's five. We, we are at five. Damn, we almost halfway through the season. We are at episode five of Overlord. You know what, y'all know what time it is. We getting right into it. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, what it's called, hit me up on my Instagram or my or my Facebook. That'd be the easiest way to try to talk to me. I, if, I, if I can get y'all, hit y'all in the comment section. For some reason, it don't go to my phone like it's supposed to, but y'all know how it is sometimes. Let's get into it. You gotta be such a dick, bro. I'm giving you money for a room. The room is upstairs in the back. Hilarious. <laughs> I did more. Hey, watch where you're going, you big oaf. How can I work with a busted ankle? Mm -hmm. Looky here. Perhaps your little vixen can kiss it and make me feel better. She's gonna kill him. <laughs> Not even in your dreams. Your uncivilized behavior is quite amusing. I can't help but laugh. What? Oh. Look at that. You're not so funny when you can't breathe, are you? Wiggling. Oh, 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 oh. So, does anyone else have something humorous they want to say about my companion? Because I... Technically, his body did that. Yeah, that's right. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting to buy that? I had to skip meals and stop drinking until I could afford it. Took months. Damn. You better pay for it or things are going to get ugly. Excuse Bet. me. But I believe these men should reimburse you. You really think these drunks can pay me back? I doubt they've ever seen a piece of gold in their life. That dude don't even have an eye, bruh. You're wearing some expensive looking armor and I'm betting you have a healing potion or two in there. I'd be happy with getting one of those. Actually, I do. Wait, wait. Here you go. Calm your tail down, girl. A red potion. A mix of Steven, right? Even Stevens, I'm out. Bro, I would have cut your bangs so fast I was in this world. It it infuriates me, y'all. Grandma! You've got to see this! Huh? See how you barge into my room without knocking? What do you know about it? First, I need to examine it properly. So this is Lizzie Balear, the famous pharmacist? She's the best there is, though I may be biased. I'll use my appraised magical item spell. It should detect any enchantments. So, what's up with it? <laughs> Tell me, Inferia. The modern manufacturing process causes all potions to turn blue. Correct? That's right. Well, this. I've never seen anything like it. It's made of pure magic, like something from a fairy tale. A true potion of healing resembles the color of God's own blood. I never believed it actually existed. You are one lucky lady. This is equal to a second tier healing spell, easily worth eight gold pieces. But there you can eat again. Such a rare item. There are people out there who would kill to get their hands on a potion this powerful. Uh -huh. I can't help though. You wouldn't have to worry if you sold it to me. She's a good businesswoman. <laughs> All right, I have another proposition for you. Well, I am getting big. Wow, check out that guy's armor. Looks quite 
quite expensive. And he's just a cop. Typical rich kid playing pretend. Shiny friendly from death. <laughs> Again, they don't set no standards. The novel isn't able to read any language. You ain't paying attention how Narbo feel like killing everybody in the shop. Consider this quest done. I'm very sorry, sir. But you are only a copper plate and this request is looking for a mid-room. I'm aware. You'll find me more than qualified. I have to follow the guild's rules. Why? The rules are wrong. Guidelines are set for a reason. Without the requisite experience, you could get someone hurt or worse. <laughs> you see my companion here. She's a third tier magic user. Third tier? I have the skills of a fighter comparable to her. It would be a waste of our talents to accept a mere copper plate quest. Facts. I understand, but the rules are very clear. I simply can't allow it. No Why would they just set a copper when they walk in? There's no assessment test. Please sign us up for the most difficult quest available in the copper plate field. Yes, of course. Give me just a moment. Perfect. I can't believe that worked. Hey, mister. You two could join our adventuring group if you're interested. Really? Squad. Let me introduce everyone. We call ourselves the Swords of Darkness. I'm Peter Mork, the leader. Over to my left is our ranger, Lacroot Volve. He's our eyes and ears in the field. Hi. <laughs> our capable <laughs> druid uses magic to heal us and manipulate nature. Dying wood wonder. Glad to have you all watching our backs. So, about this Barrier guy. What kind of talent does he possess? You don't know? There's absolutely no way you guys are from around here then, and that actually explains a lot. You're correct. We just arrived yesterday. Well, his name is Inferia Baliar. He's the grandson of a well-known pharmacist in Erantel. Who don't own He's clippers. A talent that allows him to use any and all magical items without training. Impressive. That could be useful. Agreed. Now then, I'm sure you're wondering why we need your help. Our current objective is to destroy all the monsters that have wandered too close to the city. You were hired to hunt monsters. Not really. It's actually an off-the-books expedition that we decided to I'm surprised he wasn't hostile to them since they are monsters. We weren't exactly hired to do it, but the guild will receive money from the city based on the strength of the monsters we defeat. We just have to collect our reward from the guild. I get it. It's like earning points by collecting item drops. It's a dull but necessary task for us adventurers. The job is pretty easy, and we get to keep people safe, while also bringing home the tasty bacon. It's totally a win-win situation for all parties involved. So you interested in joining us? Our plan is to start clearing up How many adventurers died on this so-called easy endeavor? What do you say? The experience will help you rise above a copper plate. Sure. We're happy to come along. <laughs> One thing. I should show you all my face since we will be working together. Why she blushed a bit? Oh, interesting. I've heard of a country south of here where a face like yours is common, but you're the first that I've met in person. He's older than I expected. Don't be so rude. Thank I've you. I've my face since we came to town. Sometimes people have issues with foreigners, and I didn't want to stir up any trouble. We have no clue this face is an illusion. Just out of How would they know? What kind of partners are you two exactly? We're allies. That's wonderful, Cassandra. I didn't notice the first time I went down they all just hang their heads like, bro. Or I shall have to cut it out and serve it to you for dinner. Learn your place and sit. She doesn't mean that kind of honest criticism is so rare these days. You're right. We should just start as friends for now. You disgust me. Perhaps I'll spoon out your eyes for fun. That cool case of hers really does it for me. <laughs> I'm sorry about my friend's advances. Yes, I'm sorry as well. Oh, scoop out your eyes. If you and Nabe are ready to go, I think it's best that we head out immediately. Agreed. Mr. Mulholland. He should have brought. <laughs> well, I said Albedo, Someone but. Someone specifically requested you for a job. Do you know who asked for me? Yes, Mr. Inferia Balion. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry, it won't happen again. I know you mean well, but you have to learn not to overreact to harmless situations. Understand? Facts. There. I'm the one that specifically requested you. I'm sorry to disappoint, but we have already accepted another position. May I ask how you heard of me? I cut 
Quint about what happened with you at the inn yesterday. The fight at the inn? Yeah. A recent customer... You call that a fight? You just threw somebody. ...several higher-ranked adventurers who were accosting you and your partner. The person I used to hire as an escort moved away from Erantel not too long ago. So now I'm in the market for a replacement warrior. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's a lot cheaper to hire a copper plate for the job. If I could cut your bangs. Does anyone have another question? No. We're ready to leave whenever you are. I can't shake the feeling okay. that something is off here. Then let's get going. There's no time to waste. This is one thing I, I need somebody to answer. I'm going to wait till this over with. Clementine, Clementine, Clementine. I'm coming down. Now, his name is Kaji, right? My God, one of the treasures of the slave theocracy. A fabled shaman princess wore that crown of wisdom. Oh, I know. A sweet little thing was going crazy while wearing it. So I did her a favor and snatched it off her pretty head. Mm -hmm. As a former member of the Black Scripture, you should be well aware that this item suppresses the soul of its bearer and turns them into a magical conduit. It's incredibly dangerous. Simply touching it could have meant your end, and yet you did it anyway. Boring! You could tell that she's fucking insane. You could find a person who's compatible. Without a true match, it's just a very fancy piece of garbage. That's why I came. As a fellow member of the Society of Zuranam, you have to help me. Isn't that right, Kaji Dale Valentel? I don't answer to Dale anymore. Now, what do you want from me? I've heard rumors about a talent holder in town that can use any magical item at will. Do you think he can make this crown work for little old me? I highly doubt that you need my assistance kidnapping a defenseless boy. Normally, no, but I intend to cause a bit of an uproar in the process. You plan on using chaos as your means to escape the city? How's yes. That? I'll participate in your ritual if you're a good boy and help me out. Pretty enticing, right? I'd be a fool to turn that off a town. Let's figure out how to grab that talent holder. Now let's talk about this. They're up there, or they're being upheld in the in the cemetery. So nobody's goes to the cemetery at all. No guards, no nothing. Nobody knows they got undeads coming from the cemetery. At all. Kakaji said he was there for like years. Making undeads. Nobody went and investigate the, the cemetery. That's what y'all need me to believe. Alright, bet. Bet. But I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.